when you think about this Senko span 2, when you think about this, do you know what this line is? Actually, there are two lines in Kumo, right? Upper part and lower part, right? But just focus on the lower part first. And this lower part, or this upper part of the Kumo, what does it show, right? right? What does it tell you? Do you know? Can anybody answer to the question? You have to know the function, right? You have to know the function, which, uh, you know, what the line is actually telling us. You have to know that. So this is a little advanced question, but um, yeah, this uh, lower part of the Kumo or upper part of the Kumo, um, that is basically the Senko span 2 or Senko span B. What does it tell you? Any answers? And this is why I'm saying the Kumo breakout is very significant on the market. So, alright, Hamiri san, yeah, you're right. Alright. Exactly. And Wasan too, yeah, you are right too. Equilibrium point of 52 days, right? 52 candlesticks. Exactly, exactly. 50%. 50% point. So basically, um, when you see, for example, um, for example, let's see, when the Kumo is moving horizontal like this, right? Um, actually, Senko span 2, on this lower part of the Kumo, when the Kumo is moving up, if you only focus on this lower part of the Kumo, that's actually the highest uh, this line is actually telling you the highest level you take the highest and you take the lowest for the past 52 candlesticks of the past 52 candlesticks you take the highest and lowest and you divide it by two but right? you divide it by two so that's why this is the 50 percent level 50 percent level of this highest and lowest and so that's why, yeah, exactly, it will match with the 50% Fibonacci or 50% retracement, so to speak. See, this is 50% retracement from this lowest here up to this highest here, right? The market is retracing back now to 50% level. So that means, right, that means if the market actually comes all the way back down, to this price level right here that means the market is already retracing 50% right and 50% retracement is uh, very significant in Ichimoku Kim Kohyo actually all the lines right except except for Chikou span all the lines all the other lines are basically um, you know calculated in this uh, midpoint you like a mid price level conception so this single span too actually actually showing you the mid price of the past 52 candlesticks and this is what we call equilibrium point on the market and so the idea is if the market breaks this 50 percent level downwards most likely the market is going to be sell biased Right, it's going to be sell biased. If the market breaks this equilibrium point downwards, 50% level downwards, that means the market is going to be sell biased. But as far as, as long as the market is above, right, above this um, equilibrium point, that means the market is still sell, uh, buy biased in long term, in long term.